Well, hello everyone. It is Mel from Everything Marmy. Welcome to the Wednesday to the Wednesday. Oh my goodness. It's off to a bad start already. Welcome to Wednesday, the 20th of March, 2024. Well, you guys, this is going to be a packed video. Packed. And uh, in my disjointed, disorganized, unfocused way. <laughs> um, I'm glad you could join me if you're new. Uh, welcome and thank you everyone else that has been constantly coming back for all your comments, for all your encouragement, for everything you do for me. Today I am going to have a giveaway video, <laughs> but I'm not going to show you what it is. I'm going to ask you guys a few questions and then when I do the draw, I'm going to show you what the prize is based on what the majority of you want or maybe even what the winner wants uh, no i can't do it that way it has to be on the majority it has to be on the majority guys so what i need is maximum participation in answering these questions when i get to them okay so we're going to do that at the midway point i'm keeping my eye on the time with my handy dandy new eye watch, which I have learned um, from my massage therapist, <laughs> how to mute for one hour. So if I go over that one hour, it may start yapping at me. I don't know. So let's begin. I want to show you where we ended off yesterday. I'm noticing already that the cover of this is picking up some scratches. This picture here because I'm not too precious with my books. And if you're new, this is just a composition book that I have altered um, based on, loosely based on Thrifty Days video. Um, and if you go back a few videos of mine, you will see that video and uh, the link to her um, video is also on my community wall. And somebody did tell me her name. Uh, let me think. Leanne, I believe, is her name. Um, and so this book here is an everything book. It's an everything book. I'm everything Marmy, <laughs> and this is an everything book. So um, why am I everything Marmy? Well, if you're new here, I'm everything Marmy because... This channel is not just about planners. It is about crafting. It is about purses, lifestyle, talking about everything uh, as I did yesterday. And uh, might I interject here uh, with a very um, heartfelt thank you for everyone's comments um, I struggled to read them because I can't figure out how to enlarge in the font on my phone, but I, I did, um, this is, see, this is why I need to go to my, my laptop now, because I could probably figure that out on my laptop. I'm going to lower you guys a bit because I don't think you need to be that high up and I'm struggling. I have a bit of the shakes going on this morning, guys, and I apologize. Uh, <laughs> another thing, just another thing, add it to the list, right? Pin, pin the tail on Mel. <laughs> so that being said, um, where we ended off, no, no, no. Where was I talking about? I'm sorry, guys. I am so sorry about my concentration. I needed another list. I should always make a list now. I chose to make a list for the giveaway, which is right here. Okay, I got that list. <laughs> Let's not lose that one, okay? And um, I need to stay on track. So yes, I was thanking you all for your comments yesterday. I highly appreciate it as I poured my guts out to you guys uh, in way more information that I than I had ever planned on sharing on this channel uh, with regard to my mental health, my physical health, and overall health. However, that being said, I am a person very strong in um, the love of life. I am very, very strong in the love of life. And I 
push hard every single day for that love. I believe in my heart that when I wake up, at whatever time of day I should wake up, I choose joy. And then I choose to share it. And because of that, I want to share a giveaway with you guys. Okay, so at the halfway mark, which is, well, hopefully 35 minutes. Uh, if you're new, I do have long videos. Please get yourself a tea or a coffee. Unfortunately for me, I'm on water. That's all I can drink right now. Um, I did not make this charm, if you're wondering, and if you're new, that uh, I have a charm collection, and I must have put two together, but I did put this book together, and I did uh, string these charms together here. Um, these charms were from BB Craft and my dear friend Jean, and then these keys were just something that I'd probably, I think it was from a phone char charm or something. Anyway, where we left off yesterday in this book, and I'm just going to flip it for you, because what I have done is worked on some pages to a point, to a point. And then I want to show you some other items and why I've got them that way. Then we'll stop. Um, I'll tell you about the giveaway and then we'll carry on. And hopefully, because I, I think this is going to be two parts part one and part two the giveaway won't be but this is the entry for the giveaway video guys okay the entry all right and so this is the flip of the book and um there was a lot of work actually put in on it and i'm just going to add tape as i see fit as we go along which of course I've just completely, do you see that already? I've completely mucked that up. Um, <laughs> now I have a saying folks, and if you're new here, you know what that is. I'm imperfectly perfect. I was telling you about my channel name too, and I got lost in my distractions. I am easily unfocused and I'm suffering from something called brain fog. And I don't have any notes with me this morning, unfortunately but I do have the gift of gab <laughs> and a sense of humor. And uh, some days uh, that sense of humor is stronger than others. Today it happens to be stronger, uh, which I am eternally grateful for, just as I am eternally grateful for each and every one of you. So... Everything just implies I talk about most things. Most things. There's some things I won't talk about, but I'll talk about most things. Um, and marmy, because that is a German word. Uh, it's it's actually there's two kinds. Well, three kinds of spelling actually, um, but the third kind I've been told doesn't exist anymore for some reason. So I'm still looking into that and getting confirmation. But there's Marmy from Louise, Louise May Alcott, which is M-A-R-M-E-E. -E, and that means roughly translated from German to English for the love of the children or all of the children. And I wanted to be called that for my children. And I have three girls. Who are now grown up women. But um, my husband at the time said, no, 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 we're going to be a traditional mom, dad. That's it. So, so I was the good wife. And uh, then I've since learned, of course, before my oldest grandchild, my grandson was born, um, that there was a second spelling and a second meaning to that spelling. And that spelling is M-A-R-M-I-E, and it is roughly translated for the love of uh, everything, nature, uh, the souls, the, the energy, the essence of everything, the love of everything. 
And so everything Marmy is almost like one of those everything everythings. So this, of course, is my everything book. Um, and I hope that makes sense somehow. Um, so I am Marmy to my grandchildren. And my oldest daughter actually came up with the name. We were brainstorming names for this channel a long, long time ago. I used to have this channel going and then I stopped it and then I restarted it and then I stopped it and restarted it. Uh, so it's been up and down twice before. Um, and there was personal reasons for that, but you know, I'm here and I'm here to stay. So <laughs> I am so happy that you are here with me. So let's flip through this uh, beauty, which um, I am seeing, and I'm probably going to see this quite a bit now that I've added some um, water to the book. And that is because I've added watercolors to the book. So I'm going to see this washi tape um, lift up a little bit. And that's going to be okay, because if I need to be aggressive with it, um, I can either use clear book tape, cut in strips, or packing tape, but I prefer the book tape um, because, yeah, the whole thing is starting to come up. And if I spend every moment on this. Um, so what I did was I collected up free books from the book libraries, and I showed everybody how for $20, sorry about the crinkling behind me, I'm trying to stand so that, I'm um, sorry, and I'm I'm <clears throat> having a bit of difficulty swallowing too this morning, so if you hear long pauses in between uh, my sentences, that's why, guys, I, I'm sorry. Um, so I basically wanted to show everybody that you can make beautiful journals out of $20. And I needed incentive that day to go walking. Um, and I walk every day. So we have in Canada, we have a Dollarama and that is roughly equivalent in the United States to the five below, except our Dollarama now goes up to, I think, $6. Uh, I did see one item there for $6. So, um, but it might have been the only one I don't, I didn't go through the entire store checking. So, um, I like to thrift a lot. I like to, to show, um, how you can do inexpensive things as well as show expensive things because I was once poor as a church mouse and it took a long time to get to the point where I could say, okay, now, now I'm, I'm comfortable. Um, I'm certainly not wealthy, like with money, um, because I don't need it. Do you see what I mean? I mean, I help my kids out if they need it. Um, it let me explain that better. It's not coming out right. Um, I feel that wealth is defined by how we feel about life and the love that surrounds us. So, in fact, for me, wealth is not money. That's what I mean to say. Uh, wealth to me is love. And I have plenty of that. So I feel like I am often the richest person I know. And that's how I choose to look at my life. And you all are a part of that. I am having a very hard time standing here because the chair that um, that is behind me has like I'm going to have to move some of this stuff so I can sit down. Um, hmm, where am I going to put this stuff, you guys? Oh, my goodness. Um, you're going to hear some crinkling. And I I know that this is sounding disjointed, and I apologize. I'm going to move my water bottle over there and my arms over there. Ugh. And where am I going to put these? Oh, well, it doesn't matter. <laughs> put them on my lap. Okay, I know that the book is in frame anyway, and these might make a crinkly sound, but I, I'll show you what I've done with those two. Okay, um, 
So yeah, I, I basically uh, put in all these pages and then I came along guys and I did more work. And each of these pages, I basically put paint on. Uh, this is watercolor. And I did a 3-2 system. So when I was putting this book together, I did three pages, stapled it instead of wasted glue. So literally, if I want to add uh, washi tape at the bottom, I can do that and have a pocket. Or I can be even more dramatic. And now that the paint is on there, I can actually tear this and have more writing pages. So I could tear it away from this washi and have it like disjointed, which is more my style to do that. I want a magical, messy book. I want to feel like it's me. And that's how I feel at the moment. Magical and messy. I am very strong in my creativity right now. But in my life skills right now, not so much. Not so much. And if you watched yesterday's video, you'll all know why. So I added different techniques. Uh, splattering. But basic um, basic uh, applications all the way through and it's pretty heavy for applying paint but this paper absorbs a lot of paint so I had to go heavy and I used a lot of water really to get it down now this is more my color palette right here right there um, the dark blues, the yellow, the green, and the pink. Um, my favorite colors are pink, white, black, and gold. And did I actually make a page like that yet? Probably not. But I would take, um, I would take a page like that. And I just took this washi tape here, and while I was painting just sealed it up because if you guys remember this page has my little um, sub sandwich paper so it's like a junk journal it's got the sun there and you know I could just take this and tape it on if I want to like I said messy and magical I even put the date on it, Monday. So this is when I was with my daughter. No, actually it wasn't. It was the week before. So um, it's just ephemera. And this book is a March book, which means I only have 11 days to fill up this entire book with thoughts in the beginning, right? Because you'll remember that the first 50 pages here, these first 50 pages are, plus all my tippins, are my journal, my junk journal, everything. And, and you'll see how thick that is. And it's a 100-page composition book. And then back here, will be my, and is, my planner. So I've got two weeks, and I've started the third week, which we did a flip and worked on yesterday as I was, you know, pouring out my heart to you guys. <laughs> and you guys responded ever so kindly, ever so kindly. So where was I? Okay, we were here. So that's more my color palette. <clears throat> and then I just left this lovely yellow with the sun. And we've got the rooster and the raccoon. You guys all know how I feel about raccoons. I've got one in particular, Grumpy. Um, and if you followed me long enough, you know about my animal stories. Um, and then I just did some washes on some pages. Other pages look like that. 
other pages look like that. This one we started doing together, right, yesterday. And then this is, um, this is my sister has a big sunny smile. And this actually does remind me of my sister. And I wanted, like, this gold to pop it. And I'm going to show you this gold in a bit. This one I just put a little bit down here. Just a little down here. Didn't do any on that one. Or that one. Or that one. But on this one I did. You see how that gold shimmers? And we've got this little guy here. And that's the page and how it turned out. Now that's a huge difference if you go back to my video yesterday on what we started out with on that page. It looked more like that and now it's like that. And that is because I added acrylics, I added watercolor on top of acrylics and I built up layers. I mean, there's gotta be like four layers on that. And yet if you look, at the material, there's nothing on the material and I didn't cover it up. So that's what I said. Y you can use like parchment paper or wax paper if you, if you want to protect it or paper towel. And I just realized I don't have the headset on, but yeah, you can use like, I, I keep, like if the paper towel is decent enough, like, I know I said I save all paper towel, but if it's like completely gone, it goes. But I'll, I'll use it. I'll reuse it until it's like, like gone, gone. So I'll just put that there for now. And so we have that one really dark, eh? Okay? So, uh, you know, if you're wondering how, how would somebody journal on that or write on that if it's so dark, I have a trick. And then this was the sun one, remember? And that's how she turned out. Now I left it completely, basically as it was after. Like that's just it drying. So, but that's the one we want to come back to. And then here is a kitten. That one's blank. I love this one. <laughs> hey, pipe down. <laughs> I love that. And then I just put some notes on this one. Little boy in the rain, hurry. So I didn't do them all for a reason because I don't want all of these pages to be the same multimedia. And some of them are going to be stories in here. And so th there we go. There we go there. Um, so I wanted to show you. The gold that I used. Where was it? on that sunshiny page. We need to add some gold. So this is what I used. It's called Gem Colors. And you see that one right there is the gold. So brushes make all the difference, guys. So I decided to go into my good brushes. And we are going to put some gold on here and then I'm gonna put it uh, on a piece of paper towel over here and pray it doesn't mark up anything. Okay. But I don't think it will. Now these, these were bought, I'm thinking they're Kurataki, so they were either Japan, Amazon, I think these were Japan Amazon and I got a three pack for, I want to say 1500 yen, which is like in Canadian dollars, $15. Um, 
So all I'm doing is taking a mason jar, wetting my brush. That's it. Doesn't matter if you use hot or cold water. Um, I tend to use like hot. Uh, and then you got to activate your paints. So to activate your paints, actually, you should just take a spray bottle. And I didn't do this yesterday with this spray bottle with my other paints, but you can tell that I've used these ones quite a bit. But I've also had them for a number of years. So I'm just going to swirl it around in the gold. Look how beautiful that color is. Look at that. Now I want to make some... What do I want to do? The sun is shining, right? And there's a bird. So what do I want to do? Hmm. I wish you guys could pipe in. Do I want to do like another circle? Look at that gold. Isn't that beautiful? Look at how that shimmers. Like it's just, these are cheap paints, guys. Like, you honestly don't have to have Daniel Smith paints, although I am super um, grateful to my, my friend for sending me some. I just love this. And when it runs out, the gold, I will have to get more because... Number 903 is the color of this, and it's just glorious. And you could write so easily on this gold paint with any, like, black marker. And once this paint is down, it's an extra layer, so you can have Posca markers. You can do so much with your pages. Now I need more water. How is everyone today? You made it to midweek. We've all made it to midweek. You know, even though I announced it was Tuesday yesterday, guys, I seriously thought it was Wednesday. <laughs> I did. And then I, I quickly went for a walk. I came home and I was like, okay, I, I got to get going, and realized it was Tuesday, so my appointment wasn't until 11 o'clock, not 9.30, but today I have a 9.30 appointment. So you see here, just by using little marks, and these paint brushes here, if you're wondering, I'm sure I got them off of Amazon, but I'm not sure of the price. But um, I believe they were called Bullet Paint Brushes 3-Pack, and they look like this. Come in a little, like, pleather brown case. And there's three sizes. There's a detailing size, the small one. See, for detail. There's the medium nib one. Of course, it wouldn't be a video unless I drop something. So here we go. And this is the large one in this set, which is large enough for any project I need to do. But I like to just, it's really how you hold your brush. I am no expert by any means. <laughs> if you've come here on the assumption that I'm a great artist, well, I'm great in the sense that I desire art in my life. <laughs> 
but my skills need working on, especially since 2021. Um, and that was, you know, uh, a year that if you watch yesterday's video, you will understand, um, kind of changed my, me a little bit. And, um, so we're going to let that dry guys. Um, I, I would like to do one more page, but I want to show you something else too. So I'm just going to take this brush away. And all I do is I, I made sure like all the color was out of it. You really do want to treat your good, like, I mean, these, these weren't expensive. This is a number 12. Okay. I, I don't, I don't think I told you guys, I don't want to actually cap it yet. What were the other two? In case you're wondering, this one is an eight. And I imagine the other one is a four or a two. It's a four. And these brushes, I would only use myself on watercolor. So let's get that out of the way for a second. Bye bye, book. You'll come back. Don't hit the floor. Okay. So of course we want those to dry. So put them up there. Now, do you remember me telling you that my favorite thrift store is Vinnie's? And they had to move. And before they moved, though, a while ago, I, I got some magazines. And I don't know if I ever showed you guys these magazines. And I'm not going to linger and show you, like, every single bit of them. But I got a whole collection of them. And the reason I bring it up, I'm just trying to raise you guys up so you can see my whole messy desk, is because Al, who owns the shop, gave me this pile of magazines and about 10 other books for like $5 or something ridiculous price like that. Um, he's always been very good to me. Uh, I think it's because they discovered I was the uh, unanimous um, supplier of their pizza parties for like three years in a row and they didn't know who was doing it and then somebody guessed it was me and I was asked directly and I didn't know how to answer so when I paused they knew. Um, <laughs> I was like shocked because I didn't, I didn't really want to tell them it was me, but they're such good people there. And so in here, did I take any out? No, two, four, six, eight, ten. Some are smaller, 12, 14. There's 15 magazines in here. And what these magazines are, are Somerset Studio. And this whole box, I think he's, he, he would have sold it for somebody else for like $10 or something, but not for me. So look at the images on those. I'll bring you right back down again now. Sorry about the up and downs, but, oh, sorry. <laughs> Let's get you down. So why this is important, these magazines, is because one of these magazines, one of these magazines, or one of the Daphne's Diary magazines, my pick, will be included in the giveaway out of these 15. Of course, I'm not going to show you all 15, so you're not going to know. But you will get a, um, one of the magazines. So they are thrifted and secondhand. If that bothers you, you need to know that. 
I am a germaphobe. <laughs> um, mildly. So when I say mildly, I mean I can go and thrift, but then I spray my books, okay, and I use, like, wipes on the covers, and I only shop at very exclusively clean places. And I um, wear gloves all the time until I get them, like, sprayed down. They're in, like, plastic bags that I bring. Um, that's what I mean. I take certain steps when I go thrifting. And I have to because of my health. So that is why I say I'm like a semi-germaphobe. And uh, excuse me while I have some water. Because I'm not afraid of viruses or, or anything like that. But ever since the pneumonia, I've been told to be very, very careful. These magazines, guys, I'm going to remove one. This one is January and February of 2002. Look at the images. And like the fodder. The, the absolute, now when I'm talking fodder, of course, I'm talking ephemera. You could cut all of these out. Look at the mermaid. May is coming up. It's mermaid month. That's a prime, I think that's an Australian challenge. I'm not sure completely. Um, I know James Burke does it. I know, um... Who else does Mermaid Month? A lot of a lot of artists do, and my mind just went blank. But um, now I have to check because Jane Davenport is the name I was thinking of. I know Jane Davenport and um, James Burke do it, and. Um, other uh, artists that are from like Australia. So like all these people here, like all of these can be fussy cut out and see like these magazines, hopefully you're not getting too much of a glare. You can take the coating of this glare off on um, the same channel, Leanne from Thrifty Day does do a tutorial on how to do that. And you can just look up, you can type how to remove the gloss coating from magazines. There are many, many tutorials. So you're left with a very matte finish, which is like awesome. And um, I have not personally done that. I have done up a tin like this though, um, and I've made a mini journal in a tin like this with mini uh, ephemera bits and whatnot. I have a video uh, in 2021, probably one of my first restart videos of 2021, um, or 20, yeah I, can't... yeah, I think it's 2021, guys. But look at this. Like, you could cut out all of these pieces. Like, it's just, like, you could cut out the words. And I know I'm going slow. You've got baby. These are all, like, vintage ephemera. Then you've got, this is more for the U.S., all the states. But what I love about it are the houses. See? So I'm quite attached to this particular uh, issue. You won't be getting this one. Um, I love this. I love the fact that this is like a Tisha Moore. <laughs> Tisha Moore, if you know Tisha Moore at all, she 
is well known in the crafting community, in the journal community. Um, yeah, she's just like um, Courtney Diaz uh, talks about Tisha Moore all the time on her channel. Yeah, Olivia Thomas is another one. Look at this. Like, just beautiful stuff. I've learned so much, guys, from reading magazines, from watching tutorials um, on junk journal making. Look at that house. I love, I have a fascination with houses. Look at that journal. So, all of these, all of these can be cut out and used as fodder for your your book if you are doing a book a composition book and or an altered book an altered book and that an altered book is let me just grab this one here just making sure that journal's not going to fly off of there Maybe I'll move it. Only so much space, you guys. Only so much space. This is not a very big table, and I don't have a very big house. But an altered book looks like this. Okay? It's, this is a A5 Hobonichi. Uh, no, it's an A5 Stalogy. Okay? And what I've done is just made a cover on it, put a pocket on it, postcard, and a project life card. I think there's two postcards there actually. Oh no, and a key code. And that's it, that's all I've done. And I used underneath, I just used some papers and I just covered it up. So it's, it's an altered book. It can be anything. It can be, um, I don't know what this one was supposed to be. Like I had, I had intentions of just turning it into a journal. Um, but the Stalogy paper is wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Um, and there's like 365 pages in this, I, I believe. I think that's what Monique told me. So yeah, that's what an altered book is. And actually, my last B6 that I used the system in, the um, planning system in that I currently use from Monique, um, I'd already altered the, the cover. I'd already like prepped it and designed it and I had no idea I was going to try to give it up and, and find my own system. And then she, and I was so lost, <laughs> but I love this. I love like where you can cut out pens and stuff. Like we're, we're using like stickers like that in our like, um, dailies, right? So, you know, um, here's some inks. Look at this page here. Like this is just so worthy of being cut out and put in my book in my own way because it's got quotes the artist does not draw what he sees but what he must make others see Edgar D Degas Degas yeah Edgar Degas And then there's like lettering and lettering here. All of these words can be cut out and put into any kind of container or box. I have like many, many boxes of ephemera. Like this size, which you can get at the Dollar Tree or this size. Um, this one used to be a military box. And this one has photographs in it and papers and um, love letters from my children. 
and this one also has photographs and my goodness there's an early picture of me while i was in the military <laughs> what do you guys think of that you've seen my recent picture um so that was an early picture of me but i've got literally boxes everywhere all over um there's another one up here there's two more there another one there so i mean i just have stuff everywhere and it's good to get in the habit if you are doing like a mixed media kind of book where you put your planner in with a a book that has like pages like I've shown you in the everything planner and then these images here a lot of you um, that follow me have asked me where do I get my images from? And I get them from magazines. And sometimes I don't care that they're glossy at all because they're just, you know, they're just going into my journals. And I don't, they're like pre-laminated. And you could actually do transfers, you know, where you take even a Ziploc bag and iron over a Ziploc bag and, you know, put it in some water and then like rub off the back and then now you've got like a, a transfer uh, or you can use it with like packing tape. So I always, by the way, I always like flip backwards to forwards, but you can take images like this. And so I wanted to show you some of the images in this magazine, right? Like, like there's just so much you could do with something like that. You could cut out like cardstock, put that on there and hang charms off of there and have that hang out of your journal. There's so much. You know what I'm saying? And I mean, this was, <laughs> this was what, 2002? Yeah. So I, I am really attached to that. But like I said, and then of course, the Daphne Diary. And this is from 2022. And this one um, is number two. And it's it spans from the period from Valentine's Day, after Valentine's Day to Easter. Because the first one goes from New Year's to Valentine's Day. And then this one, because there's only eight issues in a year. And um, for those of you that have uh, gone and got the Daphne's Diary, uh, gone online and got it, and have thanked me, you're very, very, very welcome. Um, some of these come with posters. Look at that. Like, you can make a whole journey. Let's see if I can remove that. It's got those sticky dots. A lot of people just hang these up on their walls or get frames for them. Don't worry guys, I'm watching the, t oh my goodness, it's time to talk about the giveaway. So let me show you this, look. So you can make a journal out of like the posters. So like I said, this will lead right into the giveaway video. Okay, so the giveaway video. Let's talk about that. Let me just grab my notes. You guys can stare at Daphne's diary while I do it. Let me find... Oh, there's Easter. Easter stickers. Happy Easter. Okay. What else? What else do you want to stare at? Some teddy bears? Um, okay. Little piggy, so cute. So, what's coming up is a giveaway for no other reason than my desire to thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for the support system that you offer me. I do this channel primarily for myself. I do it so that I can work on listening to my speech impediment to help my sentences that to to track my life 
essentially. I um, didn't always have this channel for that, but when I restarted it this time, I, I made a clear intention that I was going to start this channel for me and be as open and and talk about everything so that others can connect and if it could help even one person then I feel like it's it's something to be grateful for something to be thankful for so <clears throat> I do tend to give giveaways it's my language of love it's always been uh, the prize right now is a mystery box prize a mystery box prize it is international and there are some rules um, now I did mention in the past if you had commented on certain videos in the past um, that those would count for something sadly because of my my medical issues of late, we're we're not going to be able to use those, and I I do feel badly about that because I know some of you deliberately stopped everything to go watch these hour long pause videos so that you could do that. Um, please forgive me. This is the entry video. This is the only video you have to watch, uh, apart from the draw. And, um, and here's what you need to do. You need to be 18 plus in Canada. That's the law. This is my giveaway. It has no affiliation with YouTube whatsoever. Um, you have to like this video to let me know that this is something you guys enjoy. Um, I'd like you to tell me in the comments, what do you like most? Do you like book bound, like, um, like this kind of a book bound systems? Or do you like rings, like ring planners with, because I've been working a lot on planners, right? And this, this book of mine, is partly a, a, a planner. I don't know if that paint is dry yet. Yeah, it is. Okay, so let's take Daphne's diary off for a minute. But that's the, one of the two magazines that you can win in this prize. And that's the only hint that I'm giving <laughs> on that. And then um, I will show one other thing. So yeah, um, so this is a hybrid book. It's a hybrid book. It's got planners in it here and journaling here. So essentially there's the journaling community. There's the crafting community because I've been crafting to put it together, right? With all of these little bits, charms and dangles and all of that. And it's also a planner, okay? It's also a planner. Right? And we've we've spoken about that before. So as you can tell, I like to decorate my books. So do you like bookbound planners or do you like rings? Okay. So rings are basically a uh, let me just grab some and this is not part of the giveaway, these rings. This is my personal secretary. These are rings, okay? A ring planner, which can also be a journal, okay? So it has like papers that are loose because you've got rings, you see? Okay, so I need, need you to answer in the description box whether you prefer, you whether you like book bound, so, like planners or books or rings. That's thing, um, I don't know, two or three. And then um, I would also like you to answer, where did your love of stationery start? Where did your love of stationery start? 
Now, you guys can be creative if you need to be creative, if you have circumstances or situations that you don't want to get into. Um, because I know in my own life, um, creativity and art has saved me. And that's all I'll speak about that. Uh, and I know for many of you, the same thing has happened. I'm a Gen X and... Uh, as a Gen X, I know that we, as a whole generation, went through a whole lot of stuff. So, um, I will tell you that the prize will include, based on the majority, either a ring system or a book-bound planner, a magazine of my choice, which will likely be a thrifted magazine or one of the Daphne's diaries and no I'm unfortunately you can't pick various random art and stationary items okay now um, Lisa if you're watching do you mind if I um, if you go to life with Lisa Ann she has done a box opening of what a giveaway from me is. Now, I'm not saying it'll be that big, folks. I'm not. But it could be. You don't know. And... Did I say I'd like you to like this video? Yes, I did say that. And the cutoff date... And this one's going to be a bit longer, guys, is going to be the Friday the 29th. I better write that down because you know I'll forget it. Friday the 29th. At 11.59 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So that's when I'll cut it off before Saturday begins. And the draw will be on the 31st of March. Now that's the longest that I've ever done a draw. It's not a rapid fire draw this time, guys. And the reason it isn't is because I've been slower doing things. And I'm going to do the draw early in the morning, very early. And I will show you some of the items then, what what is included. Also, it will give me time if I need to put in an order with Amazon to collect up some stuff based on what I read from your responses. Now, please, when I ask you about the notebooks or the rings, please don't be specific and say, oh, I want this, I want this, I want this. You know, most of you I know would never do that. But there's a lot of people that jump over to a channel when they hear about a giveaway. And if I see that, I'm just going to disqualify you. Um, because that's not how this channel works. This is a positively, like it's a, it's a mentally positive channel. And, you know, even though I give out big giveaways, I, I still don't like to see, um, I want, I want, I want, you know, I want you all to, to participate. Absolutely. But, you know, the, the how do you say this? You know, um, there are times when I'll say, what do you guys want? And that's an open invite, right? If I say, if you want, if you have this choice between this and this, that's different. Okay. So, um, and there's a couple of very special items as well. So again, in this video, oh, and the last thing I need you to write somewhere in the, the comments, you must write, I'm in. Because 
I need to know who's participating and who's not. And I don't, please, I don't wish for you guys to have two or three entries um, of comments in this video. And if you do, can you please delete the multiples, go back, edit one of them, and add everything you need to say in one. Okay, please? I can't be sifting through all of those and then coming across multiple people. So that's why there's only this one video. It's because I've been struggling lately and I need to know that everybody's on it. All your names will be displayed. I will check YouTube Studio as well as this channel. And um, like I said, I will show the items the day of the drawing. Now, so it's complete mystery. Now everybody likes mystery bags. Now I'm going to show you one more thing. Because what are we at now? Already an hour. So as you can tell, I love cherry blossoms. I just love them. Love them. So I will be cutting out some magazine images specifically for this that represent like these pictures for my days. Now we're just moving forward. Um, and then I'm just going to show you one more thing. But I do love the gold. And you guys have seen now me apply it. So I'll be working very hard in this book. So another thing that I've been doing is you guys know that I, I've i thrifted a lot of really old books from... Um, from the thrift store and so sometimes I can't read sometimes I can't write but I have to keep busy all the time I need to be creative all the time and I I've been working on this project um, and I'm gonna show you so I've done up some packs of ephemera and I didn't make them too overly big but each one has like book pages, scrapbook pages. I had these um, because my daughter was going to open her Etsy store. So she left me with a bunch of these packages. And um, so I did that one up. And again, you won't be able to choose. I will pick one. There's this one. There's this one, and these are heavy, guys. Like, these these are not light. Uh, I weighed them all so that they're about the same weight. And then the last one. So they're just a variety of, like, salvaged book covers, things that you can, like, stamps, baby pictures, teddy bears. So one of these will also be in the draw so that you could have ephemera for whatever it is you, you wish to do in the future. So that's what I've been working on and I only was able to make six I was only able to do that much um, some of these actually have like little cloth pieces in them from material because like I said my focus has been um, kind of hard to keep up with lately so in my need to keep my hands busy this was easy to tear out some pages from books you should, you should have seen my dining room table. Uh, when my daughter came, of course, I put them all away. Uh, I probably would have had 10, but, um, and no, they're not for sale, guys. I've just done them up for ease of my own journals, but one will be part of it. And um, this box will be heavy. So it's going international and, and, you know, if, if you feel like sharing this video, 
that's up to you. It's not required. Um, it's just, please answer the questions. You got to put, I'm in. Um, you must tell me whether you like a book phone system or a ring system. And where did your love of stationery start? All in one box, please. And don't forget to like the video. And the next part that I'm going to be working on with this, probably off camera before you see it, is I'm going to take some white acrylic paint and these dollar store spatulas and I'm going to probably add some here. If not, I'll gesso, I'll use some gesso, which is hidden on the top of my shelf there, and gesso on like papers and whatnot so that I can, or just journal along here and then glue on photos here. I want to make this book a memory keeping book. And I was hoping to do one a month. So I've got to get busy on my next month because this actually took quite a long time to do. So um, I don't think I can fit two months in it, but I might have to. And I might be able to simply by using this string system here because it's expanded. So I could put another, I literally can put a belly band or I could put a a band across here and here, and then put another TN of papers in there. And it'll be out of order, but it won't really matter because at the end of the day, it's still going to be in this book. So even though I'm trying hard for one book a month, you know, if, if I'm having struggles and I can't do it, then I'll just use this book for two months. It's, it's not going to be the end of the world. So that's it for today's video, folks. I could go on. Um, I had plans on doing way more as I usually do. Maybe I'll do a, another video tomorrow. Um, unless, unless you guys want to watch me work in another um, book. And if you do, can you write that book in the comments as well? So, you know... Uh, if you want me to work in my uh, Hobonichi cousin, for example, or if you want to see me actually work in my Commit 30 and, uh, and like concentrate better than I did, you know, the other day, or in my Moleskine Daily, or, you know, please request it in the um, commentary box as well. And like I said, the cutoff for this uh giveaway is the 29th of March, which is a Friday at 11.59 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And I live in Canada, so of course, um, I will I will indeed be up. That seems to be my dread, trend, So, and I'll just have it so that it automatically does that anyway. Remember, folks, we are perfectly imperfect, and you are loved, needed, and wanted far, far more than you will ever know from me and from many, many, many other people and other worldly people, I'm sure. So please hold that in your heart. Hold hope in your day. Find some joy and know that there's encouragement and love. I hope today brings you some smiles but most of all, I hope you and your family is and are safe. And I will speak to you next time. Bye for now.